Hey folks, it's Dave here, and today I'm joined by my friend Ron Jacket from Retro Sports Network. Hey Ron. How you doing, Dave? Not too bad. And today what I want to do is kind of a two-part live broadcast, okay? So today what I want to talk about is actually my official, official review of a game-winning drive uh, by Downey Games. It's a football game that I recently played. I also want to talk about the project I dis just did and actually wrapping up, I guess, would be considered my first project that I finished thing. Because I, you know, I've done a few things. Mostly, I've done the action PC, and I've done the franchise hockey manager, and I've done some one-offs. But I, I haven't really done a project to completion. You did a complete nine-game playoff, and even if it didn't take you two or three weeks to do it, you know, like we did when I did the seventy-eight over the, in January, you still, it's a complete project. You started it, you finished it. And I, judging by what you're wearing, you must be pretty happy with the results, even though it didn't all go the creamsicle way. Yeah. So, for, first off, um, what should we do? Talk about the game first or the project first? Do your do your review first. Okay, let's talk about the game. Okay, so so you get uh, this is the the color manual that you get, and I did a little bit of talking with that earlier. And uh, like I say, it's full color in here, if you can see that. And I got the 79 season, as you can tell by the thing. So when you order the season, you get these things here, okay? You get these team cards. And I printed them out in full color, okay? And on the card, you get numbers, okay? So you get this score sheet, too. Now, this is one that I did. Uh, that I did full color, okay? So they give you a black and white score sheet. I went in and did it all up really nice in color. But here's your score sheet. I say, I see, you get a left side and a right side, and then the middle is where you write what happens, okay? So you set up the game is what you do, okay? And what happens is, so you got two rolls of the dice, one to determine if you scored or if you didn't, and then one to determine what kind of score or what happens if you didn't, okay? Then you have some some other roles maybe for kickoffs or punts or whatever. So you look at your team, one team that you're playing, and you got their basic role numbers, okay? You look at the other team, and depending on how they are, they have modifiers for their defense. So let's just say, for example, New Orleans, they were, uh, if you roll 11 to 32, that's considered a score. Anything above that, 33 to 36, you didn't score. If you played the Giants, there was there was no adjustment for scoring, so that stayed the same. If you played Oakland, though, you subtracted one from your scoring roll, okay? And that goes down for everything else. That factors into your run, your touchdown run, your touchdown pass, fumbles, interceptions, and the whole bit. So basically, you, you are just adjusting these dice rolls depending on what team you play. Sounds a lot more complicated than it is, but once you do it once, you're done. You, you get it. You know, it took me the first game I played, I hit the timer. And from the time I set up the score sheet to the time I finished the game. Okay. I'll take these off for a minute here. It was actually, um, uh, 33 minutes. Okay. 33 minutes to do, uh, uh, start the finish. I went right. And I did a second one immediately after now that I got the hang of it and I cut it down to 23 minutes. And then after going from there, I was able to set up the sheet in about two minutes. And if I just play the game real quick, I think it was 12. So from start to finish, I could do a full game offline for 15 minutes. So that's how quick you can play these games. When I broadcasted the games, I had the score sheets preset. And uh, as you saw, um, I was running pretty consistent 17, 17 and a half minutes running a game with me kind of commentating. And mm -hmm. I think you saw some of those. Yeah, I so, did. I, I did. Yeah. So so that's how fast you can play these games. Now, that being said, this is not a stat game. Okay? You don't keep stats for this game. This is all team-based, and it's drive-by-drive, drive, hence the name Game Winning Drive. Okay? So when you play these games, you alternate possessions is what you do. Each team gets five possessions in the first half and five possessions in the second half. I think that's how it goes. So there's a total of – uh 20 is it no 20 yeah. in the game yeah is that's about right yeah 10 possessions a half each team gets five i think that's how it was something like that um let me let me double check on that before i open my mouth here so i can get this correct yeah one two three four five yep five possessions a quarter 
So that would be um, 10 and a half, 20 total in the game. So I guess that's based on the average amount of possessions for a team. That would be about right. Yeah. And so, so you know, so you, once you get your left and your right figured out all the dice rolls and you start, and it's like, boom. Okay. So you roll the dice and it's like, okay, you know, did I score it? Did I not? If I did, what was the score? Okay. Then you, you know, write that down. If I didn't score, then what happened? Was it a, a, a interception, fumble, or a punt? And then you go from there. And then the other team gets a drive. So it's just drive by drive by drive. And let me tell you, the this is like the perfect streaming game. It has some excitement to it. It goes really quick. You can bang out, like I say, 17 minutes. And that's with me adding to it. Okay, that's just not me rolling and right. It's like going back to pass, makes the play. Oh, the kick is wide. It's no, you know, this is me kind of you know jazzing up the broadcast. 17 minutes. So I mean, you could if you really squeeze it, you could do 15 minutes. You could almost do four of these in an hour. You know, that's how yeah. fast they go. You know, and uh, but again, you're not keeping stats. You're not keeping you know quarterback stats. You're not keeping you know running back stats or anything. It's just score. You know, but they do such a good job of capturing a game feel. You know what I mean? There's times that it's like punt after punt at the front, and then boom, you know something happens. You know what I mean? And uh, in my playthrough, which we'll talk about, I had a lot of oddities. Not, yes, you did. I didn't feel I had – maybe I just got lucky or unlucky in some of my roles. But holy smokes, there was some things happening there. There was a one-game playoff game, okay, uh, deep into the playoffs, that the team on their last possession, the first half, fumbled. And the defense picked it up and ran it in. And that ended the first half. That was so fun. There was times with teams interception, run it back for a touchdown, then miss the point. <laughs> yeah, you, 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 you know, you had kickers who had could only have one miss, and even that was kind of qualified in some cases. Yeah, and then miss. There some kicks. Yeah, that you rolled the dice, and it was like eleven to sixty-five was good, and I would hit a a six roll double sixes. Yeah, yeah, and uh, they came at odd times, and you know, I don't think I ever got to a point you know, spoiler alert that any team lost because of a missed extra point. But there was some times where, you know, a team scored and got seven, the other team scored and missed and had six. And that was, you know, that was, that's realistic football for the seventies, you know? Yes. And so, uh, so all in all, so the game, it, it, you want to give yourself a good five, 10, 15 minutes to digest how to set it up. Okay. Once you do that and the setup becomes second nature, okay? And again, maybe it was more difficult for me because I'm brand new to cards and dice. So for me, and uh, I did make some mistakes in my initial video, and I no, do want to apologize for that. That's I, about right, though, I think, for an, even for those of us who play card and dice games. You want to get make sure the rules are there, and sometimes you get them right the first time, and then you look back and go, oh, that wasn't right. So, no, that, the learning curve... Uh, yeah, you, you weren't behind the learning curve. Okay, I, I did mess up though. I did mess up when I said um, there was one team that it was their scoring was eleven to twenty six or something like that, and you added one to the scoring roll, and I said that's eleven to twenty seven. Well, no, it's yeah. 11, 11 to thirty one. Okay, Two, it's it's base six math and not base ten math, and that's uh, that throws people off. Again, that's a newbie mistake is that you're thinking that, okay, it, which would make sense. And a lot of, there's, a, of course, quite a few cards in dice games that have with what played with D10s, but nope, that's that's a common newbie mistake. Yeah, so so I, again, I got to throw an apology there because there's probably some people looking at that and say, oh, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. Well, you're kind of right. At the time, I didn't, because that was actually my first look. If you go to Downey Games, uh, game winning football first look, a game winning drive first look. I said that, and I was like, I went back and I watched it today. I was like, oh, oh I messed that up, you know. Uh, so yeah, so there's a couple of mistakes in there for me being a rookie there, it's mostly with the dice rolls. But anyway, once you get it, get into the groove of like banging out, okay, subtract this, add that, do this, do okay, okay, all my numbers are in, then you play the game, and it's so fun. In fact, I, I went ahead. And I'm going to replay the 79 Tampa Bay Buccaneers full season in, in this game. And I and I already have my sheets already made. You know, I went in. I did, they're just black, I didn't do any colors. Just black and white print out of the score sheets. Tampa Bay, Green Bay, and filled out my thing. The, the good thing about that is th they play uh, Green Bay, Detroit, Minnesota twice. So I, I get the Giants do, twice, too. 
Yes, that was weird. They played the Giants twice in that year. That's uh, be, back then before too much expansion. You would whatever place you finished in the year before, you would play one of those teams because I think what well, it was the Central that was only a fourteen. No, the West was a fourteen division. So there was two extra teams. So the Giants finished last in seventy eight, and Tampa finished last in seventy eight. So they got the a placement against each other twice. Well, and that's why we bring you on to these shows because you know this stuff, and I don't remember that. I don't. Remember I did that. until I, I looked. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that stuff off the top of my head, but but yeah, but that's why they play the Giants. Yeah, course. I noticed that in the schedule. There. So anyway, so I yeah, so I I only did those once, and then I was able just to just basically either photocopy or write in the same numbers again. So all those sheets were done. And I just, like I said, those, those team sheets that I showed you, I just compared them and wrote them down. So all my sheets are done. So I could probably sit down even tonight and in, in, you know, a, a couple of hours bang out the last, you know, nine games of the schedule and, and have my, my final uh, playthrough done just for them. You know, you could theoretically with a game like this play an entire season. It, I figure, you know, when I did the math, out, it, it probably take you a couple of weeks, you know, chipping away at it every night. But it's really not out of the realm of possibilities, a game like this. And so if you're looking for a fast playing game that that has some excitement to it, that's fairly simple to play. It's, it's not going to take, like I say, 15, 20 minutes to play a game, but there's not it's not deep. There's not a lot of stats. OK, I have seen some people. Uh, on YouTube that have printed out the team stats and organized it by this and gave them numbers. So when, when they did score, they rolled and they figured it out and they, they put in stats. And you, if you want to, you can get a little deeper into this game than just the team stuff, if you like. Yeah, I mean, what you could do is you just kind of figure out the percentage of rushing touchdowns per player and and receiving touchdowns and just roll 2D10s if you wanted to do that. So yeah. like Earl Campbell, a touchdown. But – as you said, you really don't need to. And for from what I, I, I this is a game I've never played before. I've actually played a faster football game. Um, is that it builds tension all the way through. And so if you got a close game in the fourth quarter, you get the tension of a good cards and a good sports sim of not knowing who's going to win, and then having the roll. And will you get the will you turn the ball over? Will you make the extra point? Will you miss a field goal? I mean that that's all the hallmarks of a good game yeah they really did think this through there's a couple of things and i was talking to you off air about i might want to i don't i don't want to say change but i might add tweak you know mm -hmm. um one one of the things that they don't have they don't have safeties and i really don't know how you would work a safety into the game but one of the things i'd like to do is try to add a block kick in there of some kind so what i thought is on every kick if you know, not a good field goal, but a, a field goal miss and a punt, I thought about rolling three dice. And if all ones, all sixes come up, which I think is like a 1% chance total, 0.8%, then you, the kick would be blocked. And I thought about maybe adding that into my next playthrough and just seeing how many block kicks there were. Um, I've played a couple of games with that and I almost had one, but I hadn't had one. So I don't want to have every, every kick be blocked. That's for sure. Right. You know? But you know, finding little ways to add a little bit of excitement to it because there's a lot of excitement to it, but it, it is a very fast paced game. And I think you could add a little bit more excitement to it if you had a, a punt that was blocked. And then you, you know, so you treat it almost like a turnover at that point there. And then it increases scoring chances, you know. And if you just could have one of those every few games, I think that would really add to it. Mm -hmm. But all in all, yeah, so I played it, I had a blast with it, and, and you watched it. Uh, you watched a lot of my streams, in, and um. So uh, I, I, for myself, I, I really liked it. And this is a game that I knew nothing about. I took a chance on it. It was, what, nine ninety five, And I got nine games that I streamed uh, on YouTube, and they're all up here on the channel if you want to see them. And I have a whole bunch of other games I'm playing off to the side for fun. And, boy, I tell you, if there's a game recently I got my 10 bucks out of, you know, that's it. Oh, you, know? you got it. You got it in spades. Yeah. You got it in spades. And it just – I mean, of the four big sports, uh, soccer doesn't take a while too to play. But of the four big sports on cards and dice, football takes a long time. It's a complicated game. You got to make sure that you're reading formations, especially solitaire. And I, I, you can see where people get frustrated with it. This kind of either A gives you the way to play a full season and not a lot of time, or B, if you are using another game for card and dice, 
can give you scores and give you a feel of how teams get results to go along with that. So either way you want to do it, it's 10 bucks for a season and that's nothing. Yeah, no, and I, I definitely, um, I will go back and do this again. I got to find a season that I really would like to play and uh, I'll do this again. Like I say, pick one team and I'll play all the way through just, just my own fun, but then to replay the playoffs again, you know, I'm thinking, you know, another 70 season or something in the eighties, but that was that was really fun. So uh, game winning drive, uh, downygames.com. Uh, go watch some of my videos that I did. I had a lot of fun putting them together. Uh, the setup that I did for the games, I got the, the scoreboard going, and the, the the little I bought a bunch of little helmets off of eBay that I used to jazz up the sh the show, and I had a good time with it. So, uh, but again, it's nothing you need. You know, even if, when I wasn't streaming, I was having some fun playing. You know, I was like, wow. So. That's good. So let's move on to the project wrap up. Okay. Okay. So this is the, this is the second half of what we want to talk about here. So this is the, my first project that I think uh, I can recall doing a, a, what, what I would consider a project. I've done a lot of fun things. I have a lot of open-ended things, especially with the action PC sports. Uh, I, I like to review some of the golf courses on action PC sports, the golf game. Uh, I like to uh, play some of the hockey. I, I have uh, one project going. It's open-ended where it's the USA hockey team from 1980, and I have them playing some NHL teams from different decades. So I played a handful of games with that. So that's that's nothing I'm going to complete. That's just got once in a while fun thing. Mm -hmm. I also have the uh, the Hollywood Stars. That's that, a fun one too. Yeah, that fictional team where I combined a lot of the uh, hockey movies, uh, hockey characters from hockey movies. You're talking, you know, Goldberg and Julie the Cat and um, you know Banksy from the from the Mighty Ducks movie, along with um, you know the Hanson brothers and uh, from Ned Braden from Slapshot, okay, along with uh, 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 the, the, from the from the Mustangs there. Uh, what was that hockey movie? The Mustangs. I forget the guy's name now, but uh, he was in there. A couple people from Mystery Alaska, okay. Mm -hmm. So any any hockey movie I could think of, I uh, I added guys in there and put them on this team. And uh, I call it just the Hollywood stars and I'm having them play NHL teams as well. So that, that's another open-ended thing. You know, I had that called charity games, by the way, when I played that, those are charity games, you know, when I play those, but uh, so I have an open-ended project, but this project was one that had a start and a finish. And this was, you know, I'm going to play the playoffs from, from the wild card to the end. So I think that's nine games total. Yeah. Well. Nine, nine in that era. And this was my first real attempt at cards and dice. Now, I've you know, I've been playing a lot of uh, shootout hockey, which is the cards and dice or, or fast action card game for hockey. Uh, and shootout hockey is so much fun. But i just been playing one-offs of that. I really haven't started a project with that yet. I'm, that's just a one-off thing right now, and I will get a project with that. But this, this was a project, okay? And I got to say that, I first off, I had no idea – how fun and exciting cards and dice could be. I, I got to admit that. that for a while. Okay. But, but here's, here's the thing. Here, this is just, you know, Dave talking here that I don't think I, I, it's been since I was a kid, since I played anything with cards and dice, you know, Dungeons and Dragons back in the, you know, the eighties, you know, yeah. but one, once Atari come out in 82, 83, whenever it was, we got that 81. Uh, you know, we, we just played video games. There was really no going back to board games or dice games or anything like that. There was maybe a couple I picked up on the side that was sports games for fun, but nothing like this. I, I don't, I, I remember seeing ads for Stratomatic, but I didn't play Stratomatic. You know, uh, there was some other games that I saw that I never played. So this is all kind of new, the whole cards and dice thing. And I would watch, you know, um, you play, in fact, you know, let's give a shout out here. I saw, you know, it was, you know, you, you know, and Al, Al Red Sox mm -hmm. fan and, you know, ID Jester that gave me the motivation, you know, uh, the OG, the Grognard there, you know, he, he gave me some motivation, uh, you know, uh, the sports time machine, Mike, you know, I've yeah. seen him, uh, Rob, um, yes. you know, I'm trying to think there's any, anybody else I'm missing here. Stratomatic Strat Delaware, Stratomatic Delaware, Dave, uh, baseball demos. I watched how you guys play. Now, most of you guys play baseball, you know, for the most part, you know, and I'm a casual baseball guy, but, you know, I seen you guys playing these things and I had the itch to, to do this, you know, and, and I got to say, do you know who it was that pushed me over the edge? You're going to laugh. Okay. Are you, are you sitting down? Uh, no, I'm not in my chair, but <laughs> I, I'm, I, I'm in a position where I cannot hurt myself. <laughs> 
All right, so there's no ice cream cots or anything. There, the there's. I'm not at CBS. I'm. I'm. I'm safely in the office, and uh, I don't think the roof's going to collapse on me here. Okay, so it was you. You were the one that was saying I think you would like Dodge and Dice yes. to give it a try. In fact, I got a game of um. I don't know behind me here. You can see I got the the Stratomatic hockey ready to go at some point. Right. But you know who really pushed me over the edge was Clinton Parks. Really, Clinton Parks. Ah! Yep. It was a couple of months ago. How so? A couple of months ago. He he doesn't stream much. Okay. No. It might even been three months ago. He was streaming a baseball game. And this is when I first kind of, you know, met, met him online, of course, met him online. Right. And I went into the room and I think everybody was in there from the group was he was doing a baseball game. And I don't remember what one it was, whatever one he usually does. And he was in there talking about it, and it was one of the games that was on the computer, but you would type in the dice roll. Oh, I think it was probably uh, National Pastime 3. That okay. That would make sense, because you can do, do the dice rolls okay. manually. So he's playing this game, and again, I'm not cards and dice, okay? At that point, I wasn't. That, that might even been February or March. It might have been a while ago. And he's playing this game, and he's, he, I could hear the dice rolling on his mic because he didn't have a webcam, I don't think. He just had the game. And he's typing it in. And he's like, hey, welcome, Dave, to the chat, blah, blah, blah. He goes, I'm playing this game here, and I roll my own dice. And it was that that struck a, a nerve with me. I was like, roll your own dice. Hmm, what's up with that? And then I saw, and that led me to watch more cards and dice it was that video that night that got me to tune in because usually i would watch just the computer games action pc you know stratomatic pc whatever it was you know when he said that I, it, it struck a nerve and so now i started watching you know al red sox fan and demos and stratomatic and id and you know um uh, you know sports timing i'm watching all these different people roll the dice now now mm -hmm. now i'm intrigued now i'm intrigued about this dice thing and then i saw uh I want to say it was C and P cards and dice. Combat player. painter, yeah. Okay. He had the dice tower. So what did I do? I went out. I got a dice tower. I got the one he got, right? And I got I got it through one of my sponsors, um, you know, Alpha Omega Hobbies out of Quincy, Massachusetts. Okay, they're one of my hockey sponsors. And I contacted the guys. Hey, you got a you got a dice tower? He goes, I got a really nice one. I says, Is it the one with the felt? He's like, Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So I, I got it. I didn't even have any games yet. I bought the dice tower. So uh, so then I got the dice. And I was like, boy, this this is actually fun. Rolling dice is actually fun. And I forget what game I got. It might have been the shootout hockey. I forget. I think that's the first one. That you, it's the first one that you showed me that you bought. Yeah. Yeah. And I was playing that. I was like, wow, watching those dice come down the tower and trying to figure out what it is and then getting good at, like, looking at the charts real quick because that's the one thing I, I always I was like oh man i'll never figure this out but when i started with a game that was as simple as shootout hockey but that was as fun as shootout hockey rolling those dice now was pretty exciting i i, I got and then when i got this, this this football game wow just waiting for those dice to come down to see if they were going to drive down the field and score so again so getting back to the project i kind of went off on a tangent about cards and dice being exciting okay Getting back to this project here, from the very first game when I set up the playoffs, and I, you know, like I said, I did up the score sheets in color and I made them look nice and I tried to jazz up the broadcast. And but rolling the dice, coming out of the tower and seeing what was happening in this game was really cool. Just, right. Okay. They drove down a score. What was it going to be? Okay. Is it a touchdown or a field goal? Okay. It it's a field goal. Okay. They got three on the board. Now the other team, can they do it? Oh, well, it's a turnover, you know? And then there was a couple of times, there was one game that I think it was Miami. And if they rolled 11 or 12, they had a chance to, re it was a punt return. So 11 was a punt return touchdown. 12 was a potential touchdown punt return. And you had to roll another 11 or 12 to get it. So I played the first punt. I rolled 11 punt return touchdown. First time it ever happened. The next punt by the other team, I rolled a 12. So I had, so they had a chance for another one, but I had to roll 11 or 12. I rolled a 12 again and I lost it. I was like, that was it. That was the moment. I was like, this game is fun. Cards and dice are fun. I rolled two 12s. It's two punt returns in the same game. W what are the chances? But it happened. It happened. Yeah, and you know, to go back to your 
to your earlier point, I mean, you can go through with the cards and dice, and I can't see the chat because I didn't have a chance to mute YouTube and all that. Uh, so if yeah, there's qu questions, yeah, Dale's in the chat saying hi. Hi. Um, the computer games can do your stats for you. The computer games can make it easier for you to do certain functions and to have replays all set up for the as replay. But cards and dice is all about you and your imagination and making that work. And look, we can talk about the older games such as Strat and Appa, which were designed for kids to be able to play with each other. You know, here's your team. Here's my team. We've now we've all gotten older now. And so it's adults doing that. And here are these great solitaire games that kind of look simple on the surface. But as you've discovered, it's all about you're playing the game in between your ears. And it doesn't matter if Doug Williams threw you know, two for you know, two for four and a drive for 46 yards. I mean, yeah, the computer can record all that. It's just as you said, you didn't know what was coming. It came and you were excited about it and you had input all the way. You're the one that put the dice in the dice tower. It gave you an honest roll. You reacted to the roll. And that's the magic and that's the beauty of cards and dice right there. It doesn't matter how easy or complex the engine is. It's a game that you are playing between your ears, and that's where it gets so much fun. And the computer yeah. really can't replicate that. Yeah, and here's a, a game that maybe I got real lucky finding this game, or maybe I just got real lucky in the games I played, because I played nine games. I had one blowout, and it happened to be you know Tampa, so I was happy with that. But when I look back at my scores, I was like, boy, every game was somewhat close. They had the one blow, but even the blowout was was kind of fun because that stuff happens, you know? Yes. And it it just, like I say, it just seeing the, the the oddities come out on the dice roll made it fun. I wasn't rolling seven every time, you know what I mean? Uh, the, the one of the last games, there was a lot of punts in the second half, so that one got a little bit boring. But for the most part... Again, you know, going down and score. Okay, this game's over. If this team doesn't score, it's over. They roll the dice, they score. You know, there was one game, too, where they scored, and they went for the onside kick, and they got it. They got the onside kick, and they needed to score one more time, and they, and they didn't. The game ended. But there was, the excitement I got, it was really fun. It was hard to contain myself. And if you watch any of my videos, there was times I was jumping out of my skin. You could probably hear it. But because of the setup I had with the, the camera and the tripod and here and the lights, I couldn't jump up and down because I would have knocked stuff over. But boy, yeah, that was that that was a fun project. It was a fun season for me. 79, I think I was in junior high or going into junior high. Tampa Bay was my favorite team. They got to the conference finals. And, uh, you know, in, in my playthrough, they got to the Super Bowl. Uh, that, they got to the championship game. You can say Bay. Super Bowl. I can say it? Yeah. And I'm not sure what you can say anymore. So they got to the, they got to the finals in, in my playthrough. And, and I won't give it away what happened. But it, it didn't matter because I was having so much fun. And just, you know, I, I actually pulled out the rosters. So I, had, I knew who the quarterback and the receivers were. And I made up stuff as I went along. It was all the stats were just made up in my head. But it was, it was, a, it was a real fun, fun playthrough. Uh, but that being said, at the same time, after I played the finals today and it was over, I, I, was, I found myself sad. I yeah. found myself in, I don't want to say depressed. That's heavy of a word, but I found myself like, like, like I, I had just broken up with somebody. Oh, when I finished the Pittsburgh Dallas championship game and my 78 replay, it was all I could do not to get emotional signing off. I had spent 20 weeks with these people uh, with and developing the, well, the channel, but 20 weeks with these teams uh, especially with the run that the Patriots had gone on. And so, yeah, when you put a project away, it's hard to say because you've completed it. It's hard to say goodbye to that because you've spent time. Now, yes, granted, it was only two or three days, but still, you know, you it, it is the same. You finish the project that you wanted to start, and now – you're going to move on to something else, but especially that first one that you do, it's hard to say goodbye. I mean, you've spent, you know, you put all the effort into it. Well, it's, it was a new game 
and I learned how to play the game. And there's a lot of channels on YouTube that I learned how to play it from. In fact, that's what it was. And I, I, I want to say it was Al Wilson's channel that showed exactly how to set this game up and play it. And so I really didn't even need the instructions at that point. He did such a fantastic job. Um, but yeah, so it's, it was my first playthrough. Um, it was a season that was very near and dear to me that, you know, you brought up some facts about that season that I don't even remember, but I remember, you know, a lot about it. I looked them up. Okay. It doesn't matter. You still have them. <laughs> and, uh, but yeah. And, and then when I played today, in fact, I was very anxious. I was trying to set it up and make it look good. And I was just like, you know, and I was running around the house and I was yelling at the wife and the dog. Like, you guys going to be quiet. I got to set this up. And then my, I couldn't get my printer to work to print out the score sheet. And I was, I was really stressing out. And finally I got it set up and it, it come out pretty well. We had a pretty good crowd. I did it live today. And then I was done. I put everything away and I was like, wow, it, it's over. That 79 replay, just the playoff games, it's over. But you're right. I spent a lot of time on that. I spent a lot of time printing out the score sheets and and, and set, you got to set them up with all the numbers and all the matchups. And I and I changed the colors and I and I got the helmets and I set up the helmets and and then it was over. And it was like maybe because it was my first one and maybe because it was you know whatever. It's like would I go back and play that again? Would I do that again? Probably not with that season. I think it's kind of it's done. I did it, you know. And I I don't maybe I'd go back and see if it would turn out different. I don't know. But you could, but you've done it. And it just goes back to you make every decision. You're the ones that you put yourself into it. Like there's nothing wrong with the computer. I feature that on my channel all the time. But it's different from you sat down, you did all the prep work, you're doing all the dice rolls, although there isn't any decisions for you to make. You, you are the chief cook, bottle washer, laundry king, and puppet master of it. And, yeah, you get attached. Yep. And we got a couple of people jumped in the chat room here. Just want to say hi to Dale and uh, I am Sporticus. And D Dave Little's in here as well. We're yep. talking about um, the, my most recent project, actually my first Cards and Dice project, which is the game-winning drive of the 1979-80 football playoffs. I finished that today. We had the finals. I went live with that today. So that's what we're kind of talking about. We're talking about – you know, and if anybody in, in here in the chat has, has done a project, or, or maybe think back to your first project, whatever it was, uh, you know, I'm talking about how I'm kind of sad that it, it's over. I was having so much fun with this, and, and this game was such a – I think it was such a good game to do the first project because it was a fast, fast game. It was full of action, and I could bang it out, and it was fairly simple to play. So much fun, and I had so many emotional moments in this. In this, and again, it was only nine games, and I and I finished it in about a week. You know, it really was. It didn't take that long. And uh, two, yeah, we, two two things though that I think that that made you feel that a you felt an emotional attachment to the subject matter. You're a huge Tampa Bay Buccaneer fan. You're wearing the creamsicle stuff at, at now, and b you understood the game rules, and so you understood what the roles meant and. And how they played out, and how it played would play for the future of the game, uh, of what you were doing, and the same with a shootout hockey. Okay, here, here's your chances and all that. And so once you have whatever the game engine that you're using, you have an understanding of it. It just goes to go together. You know, if you were doing a modern season, and I know you don't watch a lot of modern football, but if you were to go through and do like the last year Patriots or something like that, yeah, you would. Okay, I got it done. But well, no one have meant as much to you as taking your team through their magic run. Yeah. Yep. And that might have been too, you know. And there's a couple of seasons I want to get. I know that there's a couple that uh, New England made the playoffs and they were one and done or, or whatever. And I'll go back and play some Patriots games as well. But um, yeah, I think this was a, a is a perfect game. Uh, it was the perfect length, and it was it was so much fun for my first cards and dice project. And uh, yeah, so just a little read a couple of quick um, comments here in the chat if you don't mind, Ron. I have to get close. Nope. I don't have my glasses on. Yes. Uh, so um, yeah, Dave Little, I am Sporticus. Dale's in the chat. Uh, uh, I am Sporticus. Said, yeah, I did a great job with that. Um, thank, thank you so much. That was it was a lot of fun for me too. Uh, Dave Little, I get about eighty percent th through with a project, and I start thinking about the next one. <laughs> and I, I, you know. This whole time with this project, maybe because it was my first one, I wasn't thinking about what I'm going to do next. I really wasn't. The, the only thing I might have been thinking about 
is what could I do with the shootout hockey game? Because uh, that's gaining some traction. That's a whole nother topic for another show. But shootout hockey is really uh, picking up some steam, at least in the community that I that I that I've seen. And uh, there's a lot of people playing it. A lot of people I saw ordering it, giving it a try, and a whole bit. My videos are really going through the roof with shootout hockey. Mm -hmm. So I'm pretty proud of that. Uh, and, and even this game too, this, this game here, the, uh, the game winning, uh, drive there, um, you know, Icky Boo was playing this the other day. He gave me a shout out on his channel. That, that was great. That was pretty impressive. Actually. I was very humbled when I saw Icky Boo say that he saw me playing this game and he decided to play because usually I'm watching his games and he's turning me on the games, you know? So it was kind of nice that, that, that happened. Um, but the only, yeah, the only other product I was thinking now is like, now that I'm really into the cards and dice and I'm getting pretty good at setting up streaming them and even when i play offline i get a setup in whatever i you know even when i play offline i, I still put the helmets out <laughs> I, I do i get into it i just just get into it you know and i don't know if you caught the halftime show today <laughs> that was funny <laughs> that I, was funny i had i should have i had a couple of things in mind that i was gonna do but the day just it was so crazy. And so I want to finish today. I need to get this done today before four for you to do your baseball game. Right. And I, I, next thing you know, I'm, I'm doing it and halftime came I'm like, Oh, and I'm looking around. What do I got? And I had a couple of the Lego figures behind me and I, <laughs> they did a halftime show. Up I had people. to do halftime. It was the final. Right? I had to. That was yeah. great. Thankfully it wasn't Janet and her boob falling out of her thing. You know, that was, yeah, that was perfect. So that we did was, that and had some perfect that, but, um, yeah, so um, let me see. So let me see. Dale's asked, do you do different sports or stay on one sports project? Well, uh, as you know, Ron has baseball and football going right now, and uh, he does some other things sporadically. But I, I guess I guess they would be considered projects, Ron, right? What you got going on? Uh, in, right, yes. I mean, so that, a, that AFL, is that a project? Or is that like a one-off? No, a, that's a project. That's going to be a project. That's – um. We'll do that, and because I think I can punch out that whole s season between now and September when we do the NFL replay again. But uh, yeah, no, that was one of those try things, and it did well. And I wanted to continue doing it. In, I mean, obviously, we're all going to do one-offs. Uh, but I mean, Dave Little's in the chat. He's doing his Heartland Wrestling cards now on the on the piece on the for, for the stream. He's streaming them, and so yeah, I may not be something that gets done every week or whatever. But yeah, I mean, that's a long-term project and things like the Patreon games or, or that are just kind of short one, one off games just to, just to break it up. Cause you don't want to feel like you're married to your projects. Yeah. You don't feel obligated to today. I felt a little obligated to get the finals done and I was feeling anxious as you might, whatever the other games, I was Lucy goose. I couldn't wait to do it. And uh, I didn't go live on any of them. I just recorded them and put them up so I get a nice high quality. But the other thing that I noticed too, along with, you know, understanding now the cards and dice, how it can be exciting. I guess when you're watching somebody play, it's really hard to get that excitement going. It's difficult here, if you don't know the game engine. And so when somebody in Napa rolls that 6-6, six, six, and we know immediately it's a home run if it's someone actually hit more than like one homer in a given year. Like, okay, you know, the game has changed immensely. Or if you know that a pitcher is on and the dice roll is a, the play result numbers are 13. Oh, that's a strikeout. You know, I mean, things that you know if you played the game. For someone like you who's kind of new, it doesn't mean anything. It's just numbers on a card. But now, you know, for Tampa, if the home team, you get, or, you know, in that game, a uh, one three roll is a score. How yeah. are they going to score? And if you're in a situation where you got David versus Goliath, you know, if your scoring chances are 1 to 13, for instance, and you roll a 12, you've just made a score. And that might, depending on what it is, change the whole complexion of the game. Yeah. Or it's 46 to 10, and we're scraping Tony Eason off the turf again. I think it was 56, wasn't it? No, it was 46 to was 10. It 46? Oh, it doesn't sound mm -hmm. so bad now. But, uh, <laughs> Yeah, in, in in that game there, I know that Tampa played Dallas, and Dallas had a couple more uh, dice rolls chance of scoring, and Tampa Bay won almost handily. And so that's that was fun about that game is that that kept rolling low numbers for Tampa, and and again I wasn't cheating, and and I didn't. And that was the thing is I, I because it was a solitaire game. Of course, I wanted Tampa to win the whole thing, but I was having so much fun. I didn't care. I didn't care. I was just neutral observer. I really was. And the other thing I get to. 
that this has been a very enlightening experience. Okay. Is on like Dave Little's sports simulations and replays group and a few of the other groups that I, I've since subscribed to. I see people posting their, their scores and the stats and the whole bit. And I used to think, well, yeah, it's interesting, but you know, what, what is the deal? You know, if I can't see the video, what is the deal? But now I get it. Cause I played some games offline and I was like, boy, I'd like to share this with somebody. Somebody might enjoy this story from this game. And that's, that's what I get now too, is when I go to, you know, Dave's group or, or another group and people are posting like results and scores and stuff. I, I read them now. There are people who are really good writers. And I go, and it, sometimes it just scores. Yeah. Sometimes it's like, hey, this guy hit a home run, or, or this guy scored a late goal. And it's like, these people must have enjoyed the crap out of this game to put it here. And I'm going to go and try to read it and see if I can, you know. And, and I get it now because there's so many things I want to go and post. I need to share this with somebody. You yes. know what I mean? And, Absolutely. And that's, and that's how it, the, some of us got involved into YouTube. It's like, here, I'm going to do this. I'm going to have fun doing it. And, A, I think, you might enjoy this. And I mean, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So I, I get the sharing now and I get, you know, playing offline is fun too. Cause there's less pressure, less setup. You can just sit and play and you don't have to worry about anything. And when you get on YouTube and broadcast, whether it's live or whatever, you got to have some kind of presentation and that, that takes a little bit up there, you know? Um, but I like both. I like sharing on live and I like private. Uh, let's see. Um, let me see. Uh, I am sporting because that's why when we shoot out hockey products coming up, I do. That's going to, I am going to dive into uh, shoot out hockey uh, this week. As far as which products I have, I don't know. I do like playing the game sevens. I did the, the 1971 Stanley cup finals that went to game seven, Chicago, Montreal. I've already played that one. Uh, he doesn't have every season. He's not like the gay, the Dave Coke sports there where uh, you have, um, every season available. He's had limited season. So I got to go back to to see what seasons he has, what seasons that I have and find some select games. I would like to play a, a game seven playoff series with somebody, either a team that already met, maybe replay a cup finals or something like that, or pick a game. You know, there's some really, really great hockey games in the past that you could go back and play a one-off of and say, Hey, this was, you know, you know, Gret this was Gretzky's game that he, you know, for the Kings that he broke the record. Maybe I play that to see if he scored and broke the record in that game, you know, or maybe I go back and play a, a key playoff game somewhere. Or, Would well, you go back at this point? Because you've had some, you know, you're a big Bruins fan and they've had some very good years. Would you go back and do now that you've done a play around with shootout, a single team replay? You know, would you go to 69 70 or would you go to one of the? I mean, I think one of the reasons why people do this is they want to uh, cor correct the, correct some wrongs. And the well, Bruins had some of those seasons where you knew they were good. And yeah, there's, a, there's a lot of, I guess, wrongs, wrongs to be corrected, I guess. But I, I wouldn't phrase it that way. I would just say just to go back to my favorite season and, and see how it played out. That's what I did the 79 here for, for, in the game right. when drive with Tampa Bay. I want to see, you know, how, how, could Tampa Bay go all the way? Well, they almost did. Well they, well, they did. They just didn't win it. They went all the way. They didn't win it, though. I'll give you that spoiler, you know. But uh, – they um it was it was interesting to see the matchups at, at the wild card round we had a game that didn't go as it did in real life so, so i mean i like to see that when i play some of these games as, as a replay when i don't put reggie jackson on the red Sox, okay when i play straight up i like to see some variation i don't like i know you played your your 78 football season i was kind of disappointed that i had the real final not that there was anything the two teams that should have been there in the end were but it went kind of almost as it went except for the patriots winning patriots made the deep run and um los angeles blew a 10 point lead in the second quarter of their game against dallas i mean los angeles came within a shout yep. of taking dallas down but you know the wild card games weren't the same the patriots made the conference championship houston didn't even make the playoffs yeah and so yeah there was a difference and so i i guess there was enough of a variation of teams that did. I mean, the Giants snuck in the back door. That yeah. last week of the season where the four different teams had a chance to win and end, and only one team did that. And so that just made it for crazy last week. But, yeah, it was kind of 
I don't want to say disappointing because it what the, the game itself was very good. But in the end, I got the real championship. I got Pittsburgh beating Dallas in a good game. Pittsburgh having to win on the last drive of the game to do it. But, yeah, I mean, that's, you know, in the baseball replay I'm doing at the moment, you're going to have two teams in the National League who didn't make the playoffs. And, you know, we may only have one real playoff team out of the four to make it. Hmm. That's and fun. Then, but as far as, like I said, correcting a wrong, I, you know. I, 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 I just I, think I, it as an entry point as opposed yeah, to. Just see, see if I can get a better result, I guess. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So for me, um, going back what you said about playing a team, I would think about going back and playing an entire season. But the only problem is even with shootout hockey, as fast as that plays, if you do want to keep accurate stats, it does get into a little bit of time. Mm -hmm. it, it does. I mean, you, like I think I did a, a speed run of shootout hockey. What 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 did I say? It took me twenty three minutes, something Which like that. Pretty good. That's pretty. I, good. I, I I forget what it was. So I I, I you'll I, find I, that you'll get quicker with it though. Yeah. No. But what I did though with that was that was just looking for a final score. So if I rolled a penalty, I didn't even care who got the penalty. OK, I just said teams on the power play. Did they score? Did they not score? So I was like banging through that game really quick, rolling the dice, you know, and I, I think I did stop to see who scored and who got the assist. But I didn't like really write it down. I just keep keeping keep them score. So if I wanted to go back, I get two choices. I could just play it that way to see what the final record would be. Mm -hmm. But I guess if I'm going to do it, I might as well take the time and keep the stats and see what my final stats for that team would be. You know, yeah. I, I think maybe if, if, if I played the seals, okay, like I'm a big seals fan. Okay. Seriously, you're a masochist. I know there's, there's another guy. Um, I think it's his name. There's so many Dave's in the cards and dice world. Right, I'm involved with right now. It's I'm unbelievable. Doing the 79 Mets, and that's the ultimate masochism yeah. right there. But there's a couple of Dave's in the group, and one guy is a Seals fan, just like me, and he's he's played a, a a replay of the Seals. I would probably do that. And chat room, hang on. I got a couple of chats to, to go over when I'm done my thought here. I if I did the seals, because I really don't know anybody on the seals except for like you know a couple of fake Vadnays and Melosha, whatever. I would do the seals replay as a fast replay, where just to see what would their record be. And I really wouldn't care about stats. Okay. I just want to see how bad they are and how, how bad their record would be. Okay. If I did the Bruins with the Or Esposito, or you know, I got 7980 with Bork and those guys. That is something I'd be more apt to keep stats for would be the Bruins teams, okay, or, or a team that I really fell in love with back in the day. Now, the Seals were more of a mystique, and it's a fun thing. I would, I might do that one first. I might do the Seals, find out the Seals' worst season, and then if he has that, if I have that one or he has it, play that out with the fast game and not worried about stats, just get final scores. And just to see, you know, how they did with the cards and dice in that season. So I would do that with the seals and then maybe go back and do a Bruins with full stats. So I would consider doing that and shootout hockey would be the game to do that. You, you definitely don't. If you, if the game's going to take you an hour, an hour and a half. You, no. Yeah. No. Yeah. Right, so yeah, game no, winning drive, again, th these two games that I'm playing game winning drive and shootout hockey are terrific for playing longer projects because you, you, you don't get the full stats. Well, shootout hockey, you could, but I mean, it's, it's not, the game doesn't take as long. It really doesn't. And um, I'm, I'm looking at some other games on Downey games to see if there's a step above this. I really don't want to get into too craziness, but if there was a step above this, you, you're going to make me play that tractor pull game, aren't you? I'm gonna get. I'm gonna. I'm gonna buy that for you. Make you play it. Yeah. You're gonna make. You're gonna. You're gonna make me. Play I am. It. I'm gonna be a Patreon. I'm gonna. I'm gonna make you play tractor pull. Just. Just so we're clear about that. <laughs> but um, I do want to find a football game that might be a just a tad deeper. Uh, than, momentum. Momentum. I think. I was looking at that. I was watching some guys play that on YouTube, and I and I was like, boy, I don't know about that. I I was actually thinking of the Mean Gene. I'm trying to mean Gene. Football matchup, a matchup football, something like that. that, that yeah, was it wasn't. It wasn't the. Go ahead and before all I try to think about that, go yeah. ahead and acknowledge your chatters. Yeah, let's go back to the chat here real quick. So, um, just to finish up, I am Sporticus. Yeah, I will be playing some shootout hockey. I, I do have to dig through my seasons. I pulled them out today, and I and I checked off what I have. And I, there's a couple select games I want to play. So I, I want to play the select game first because so, I get better at them. I I did um. I want to play with the fast action cards instead of the dice too. I want to play a couple of games of those, I, and I have to learn how to play it with the, with the cards now. 
So I will be playing some shootout hockey one-offs, and then I will find some kind of a, either a tournament or I will do the um, a, a best of seven playoff series with a couple of teams. Whether it's a cup final or not, I'm not sure yet. But I will be doing some of that with the um, the shootout. Uh, let me see. Uh, Dale says he's he's a, he's a stat geek and he likes all the stats on the websites. Uh, Dave Little, uh, he said that's what he created the face group, uh, Facebook group for is to enjoy the replays, and he he wants to share his replays too. He's great um, at it. Yep, and he, he he says he belongs to some other games who so he enjoys it. So yeah, Dale says he likes the Facebook. He likes the stats on the Facebook site. He likes to read those. Um, and let me see. Uh, um, what are some of the names of these groups? Um, well, uh, uh, Ron mentioned Dave's group first, obviously. There's there's a bunch of groups uh forms over at Delphi. There's tabletop sports. There's a. Uh, uh, roster card baseball is over there and there's a shootout hockey group over there. And there's one that goes into British sports. So rugby, soccer, cricket, um, pretty much uh, uh, second and 10 football. I think which, the ones on Facebook, uh, uh, Dave's the one to go to first, obviously yep. sports simulations and replays. That's the most open group. And I think the most publicly friendly. Yeah. Group. If I, if I look real quick on my groups, I think the, um, there's a, a tabletop group uh, I'm, a, I'm a part of here. I apologize for looking at my phone during the show here. Um, sports board games, tabletop sports, and uh, downy games are the three groups that I subscribe to on that Facebook. I belong to the Strat group over there. and I think I was Strat too, yeah. But I don't play any Strat, so I haven't posted there. Right, and um, I, try not to, I don't post in a lot of different places. I'm much more of a reader than I am a... A contributor I, I i i posted a couple things recently just because of the, and the downy games i think it was downy games fans or something like I'm that i'm delighted to see that i'm yes. delighted to see downy uh get some love so He's i have uh, some good stuff over the years and it just doesn't get we have so many games out there now that you can't possibly play them all no and some of them are really good yeah, Dave Little says play p l a a y dot com is a good group. I think I'm part of that one as yeah, well. Yeah, that's Keith Avalonis. That's the hockey blast and history maker baseball and and red, white, and blue racing and such. Yeah, um, baseball demos just said he's part of a body painting group. Of course baseball. he is, and and of course there's Glory Days Boxing, which I know you're not a boxing fan, but but um, Anthony's got a big group now on Facebook, and people are posting their results. I mean, that's how you get. A lot of these games just need word of mouth to, to get around. And, and that's what it is with a lot of these is that, you know, there's very few videos on YouTube with some of these games. And I'm glad that I found them, put them out there and, and uh, just going through some of these Facebook groups. Um, people are buying these games. There was one of the, I forget what, what um, group I was on. One of the admins just said, Hey, I'm picking up shootout hockey. I like what I'm reading about shootout hockey. So the administrator of the group, Went and picked up shootout hockey, and I was like, "Glad to, you know, the, the, hope you like it. Let me know." There was another. There was another guy. Now check this out. So, so this, this is shootout hockey. Okay, this is the card I printed up with shootout hockey. Okay, you can see it's a full color card. Okay, it's just got the team name. It's very generic. Okay, but it's got all the stats. So, and shootout hockey, it's a it's a team card. It's not individuals, as we know. Okay, so a guy. Uh, one of the groups printed out this card. Okay, he, he got, you get the cards PDF. He went into some some program, added all the team logos, and then put them on cardstock. And they look phenomenal. And so this is the creativity that people are getting with these things. And I was like, I go, well, how did you do this? You put all the logos on there. It looks fantastic. And he's got it all set up with a nice backdrop. And it's like people are really getting into these games. And they do. They need more love. They need more videos. They need, you know, exposure. Because both of these games, a month ago, I hadn't heard of either one of these games. And now I, yeah. I, I, I'm just. I haven't played my golf game on on you know, Action PC or I think I played a hockey game the other day. And boy, I missed that. I really did. But I'm really into the, these smaller games. You know, these games that are ten dollars or less or fifteen dollars or less. They're so much fun. They really yeah. are. That we talked about that in the hidden gems. Video that uh, 
that demos and ID just reunited a couple of weeks ago. I mean, there's just so much out there and they're good and they're mathematically solid. And again, it's, you know, it's because you're having fun between your ears and you're the one that's in control and you can get, you know, some point we're going to do a group discussion over on my channel about, you know, simple to complex or whatever you want, but you can, there's just so much variety. So the question I have for you, Mr. Gardner, um, what do you, so what's the next level of complexity that you want? You really enjoy the games that don't involve any decision making. And that, I'm, that's not a being short, short with you at all. I mean, you've really had fun with that. How involved do you want to get? That, that's a good question. Is I don't know. Um, I, I, the, the two games we've been talking about all night are fast play games that are very exciting. And again, the, the quick play is a big thing. And the footprint size is a big thing. So when I take those cards that I pulled out, and I can put two of them here with my dice tower, I take up this much space. You know, when I play, you know, game-winning dry football, it's a sheet of paper and a dice tower. That's it, you know. I don't need to spread out, you know, o over this big area to do something, okay. It's, it's not like a, like a board game per se, okay. It, it's really just right here. So that's the first thing is, is some of these other, especially the hockey games I'm looking at, they take up some space. You got to lay out all the cards of all the individual players. Players, I'm not sure. I would like to find another game. And there's a couple I saw on Downey Games. In fact, I just sent off an email. Uh, it was called Football Solitaire. Have you heard of that one? Uh, Solitaire Football. Yeah, I just sent off the email, and the guy sent me the information on the game. It was called Solitaire Pro Football Game. Okay, I haven't heard. Uh, there's it's, so many. It, it's very similar to the Shootout Hockey. They don't even have a website. Okay, it's just. Okay. The email the guy so he sent me the, the the pdf the whole bit and i think you print out some cards and flip the fast action cards but i think what i saw with that is is the team has a page so i would like to find a game that, that has the team on the page where you can maybe get a little bit more involved so football maybe call the plays and roll the dice mm -hmm. or whatever see what the play is going to be instead of just the drive you know and with hockey you know maybe a little bit more than than you know 10 10 to 12 rolls a period to see what mm -hmm. goes on you know so um, I did watch a couple of videos. I won't mention the games because I don't want to, you know, talk bad about any particular games. But I watch a couple of videos. You know, I've been watching a lot in the last few days about stepping it up, as you say. And yeah. there's still some that I was just like, boy, I tell you. And I know I said the same thing about some of these other dice games that I was like, oh, I'd never figure it out. But I'm really watching these games. It's like, you know, uh, am I really going to spread out all these cards? Exactly. No, and and that's and that's a legitimate concern. And, and how, you know, what, it's like th this one's got a triangle. This one's got a five. This one's got a this. Put little chips here, all like a roulette table, and I'm like, that's a little bit more involved. I mean, who knows? I might play that and love it to death. I don't know, but it, it looks daunting to start. It really does. So I like the the, the team pages. Just give me a team page. Downey Games, uh, Game Winning Drive, team page. Shootout Hockey, team page. Give me all, everybody on a card. I don't want to have 100 different cards, at, at yep. least now, at least right now. In six months from now, I might be like, oh, give me all these cards. I want to be showered in cards. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? I could be body painting myself with cards in six months. I don't know. But – I'm just thinking, like, just you know, maybe something that'll take me half hour to forty five minutes to play instead of fifteen. Something that I can keep a little bit more stats, and I can put up a box score. You know what I mean? Now, I guess technically shootout hockey, you could put up a box. You could do a box score with shootout, uh, momentum drive, which we're talking about. Momentum football, I think you could. Um, and those give you some basic decisions, especially at the end of games, if how if. How do I want to come back to win? I mean, the difficult thing, especially with football and hockey, is that they just take a long time to resolve. Yeah. Hockey actually is faster on the tabletop than football if you went out and played a full game, which right, kind yeah. of seems hard to believe, but it's true. Um, but you also have the computer games, the action PCs, the Stratomatics, uh, OOTP, and, and Franchise Hockey Manager, that if you want that experience, it saves it all in the space, and you can do that. But as far as cards and dice are concerned, I mean, really right now, the only cards and dice game I'm playing is Roster Card Baseball, because it takes a very small footprint. Everything is on one piece of paper, and there's three pages of charts, which I kind of ignore. Uh, I did the video on that the other day. Um, 
because just for that reason, it's hard for me to have a lot of space. I have a cat. It's warm in here. So there's usually a fan on beside me. Paper blows away. The cat wants to do this and that and the other thing. And I'm not sure who I'm married to, my wife or my cat. I think the cat says I'm married to her. Anyway, um, and so the computer games are just easier to do. But now there's enough choices out there where you don't necessarily have to, outside of basic decision making, you can get a full enjoyment from just what you're doing now. There's even more basic games than what you have. Yeah, there's a, you know, the there's a lot of these little, like I say, hidden gems, shootout hockey. This uh, I'm going to probably get this, this football solitaire pro and, and check out a season and see how that goes. And I'm kind of hoping it turns into another shootout hockey where, you know, I can talk to the guy and, and, you know, and, and get some enjoyment out of it and the whole bit and help him promote his game. Uh, you know, and things like that. Tribe fan just joined the chat, by the way, Ron, if you want to say hi. How you doing tribe fan? And, oh, well, we didn't mention him. He was another one there that one of my inspirations for getting into cards and dice was, was, you know, watching some of his updates. We, we were talking about some of the people the twins, yeah, earlier on that, that did some stuff here. So, there are some very good computer ports that are pure cards and nice games. I'd be remiss at Clinton Parks in the, N the National Pastime 3. Uh, ASG Golf, which I featured on my channel. The tennis game is a pure cards and dice. Uh, replay is a pure cards and dice that you play on the computer. So there's, you know, there are some programmers who get it. That yeah. you could get the cards and dice experience of having to make all the decisions and seeing where the results come from. And just make the record keeping and keeping the size down there. But again, people work on computers and machines all day. The last thing they want to do is come home at night and just get on another machine to play another game. You know, that's the other thing about cards and dice is you get that separation. Yeah, you, you get and and it does feel very old school and it feels very vintage and um like I say, th there's times that I would be playing right here where I am right now, and I would have either you or Al or, you know, somebody else who, who's streaming a game. You know, Dave Little on Friday nights, for crying out, he'd be playing his basketball game, and that's how I learned how to play the shootout hockey. I'd have him here. I would have him on my screen. I'd be watching his game, and I'd be playing my shootout, and I'd be rolling the dice and learning about what does what and this and that. And um, So I didn't have to tie up my computer with a computer game. I was playing cards and dice, you know? Yeah. 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 So anyway, so 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 yeah. So uh, yeah, we can just kind of wrap things up here. I just want to get on with Ron and and kind of give a, a review, uh, an official review of Downey Games' game winning drive. And so that's the the first half of the show. The second half is talking about wrapping up my first project and you know what other products we might do and just you know how how I felt after the first product. How how I did. I fe I felt sad. I felt sad today when it was done. And I and I I got my folder here and I closed the folder on the 79 80 season and you know now it's like what what am i going to do next and i'm, I'm kind of taking a break for a day <laughs> for a day because <laughs> i was like you know wow i i really went big into this i learned the game i got good i i got you know i bought some stuff at the store so i could have a nice broadcast and now it's now i i need to to take a breath i got a bunch of work i gotta do i got a busy couple of days coming up for us but um yeah, it was sad. It was sad that it come to an end because I was looking forward to playing those, and I was looking forward to setting up the next score sheet and looking at the matchups and printing out, you know, you know what what the scores were of the other games. And, and again, like like you said, when you do with your games, you give the scores. Here's the standings. Here's what's going on. You try to bring everybody in with you to your project. You know, I think the difficult thing for me is you know because I did play cards and dice before because I've been playing so long that they you know they're disc computers like you want me to do what yes yes i want you to do that is that you want to make sure that you know try in my in my stream so give that kind of cards and dice feel not giving the dice results but here's what it means and here's what you're watching and I, your guess is as good as mine is what we're about to see and that's the beauty of, of the cards and dice is that you just never you might get that 12 12 roll and you'll remember that as long as you have yeah. a memory now that, you know, doesn't matter if you play that game a thousand times, you got back to back punt returns on the most unlikeliest. You know, I, seven I, I, I rolled you 11, then I rolled 12 with a follow up 12. I mean, it can happen. And that that's what I like about the cards and dice aspect of it. At least the, the dice is that you can roll. Uh, how many times did I roll 65 or 66 at a point after I missed it a lot. And that's just, 
you know, shank the point. The kickers were bad back in the day, you know. I remember cards and dice games I played in college. Now I can go back and watch the streams that I do, but I have, you know, fond memories of hitting that dice roll and hitting that walk-off homer or tying a game late in the game because you're fully involved in it. And that and that's a thing. Yep. And and that is actually difficult to do when you're streaming on YouTube. It is really, really hard. And and I give credit to the people that that do it because it took a long time for me to set up. And I don't even know if I brought anybody into my game. I, I, I don't know. You know, the feedback was good, but you know, it's just, it's different than having something on your computer screen. So what I tried to do was, you know, I would say, okay, I need, you know, a roll of, you know, 11 to 22 to score here, you know? So I, so I was trying to tell people what the dice needs to be, you know? And I, I think that helped a little bit. And I like when other people do that too. When people are like, oh boy, I need the roll doubles here or I need this. And because now you can anticipate with them, you know, because you know, the sense of desperation of that coach pacing up and down the sidelines or chomping on the gum, tapping, hoping he's tapping the right line to get that goal. Like, look, we know what we need. We know we can do it. It's there. And so, yeah, you can press a button and pitch and or shoot or whatever, uh, but it's just nothing like that. Okay. I need a 12. And you roll it, and you get it. I need I need Gretzky to put it in the net, and he's being played by Clubber Lang and Rocky Marciano. They're gonna you know deliver a check, you know, boom. But he got it, and that and that's it. You got it. Yep, it's uh, really fun, and um, so I need to go back to Downey Games. Aside from the tractor pull, I need to uh, find some uh, fun games. There, there was a there was a bunch you, of football you know games. Patreon, so go right ahead there, Buckwheat. Yeah. The, the mean game <laughs> football looked pretty good. I, again, there's not a lot of information on these games. There was another game. Uh, uh, there's another action football game there on Donnie Games that there was a couple of videos on, and it looked a little more complex than I was ready for. Yeah. So I'm not 100% sure where I'm going to go with it. But, um, yeah, but uh, so I don't want to tie you up anymore tonight because I know you're watching some of the golf. And I um, just want to say, you know, th thanks for coming on, and thanks for you. Oh, my and pleasure. You know, I mean, you know, you and, you know, and, and, and demos and Stradmac and ID and our Red Sox fan and OG and, you know, Clinton Parks and, and everybody who's been playing these games. And we're probably missing a few here off the top of my head, um, uh, uh, the sports time machine and, and Rob yeah. and, and every everybody that played these games. And, and I might only tune in from time to time and maybe I only get a couple of minutes, but I tune in and I watch and I see how much fun they're having. You know, and, and again, I, I don't follow any of the strat. I don't know anything about it. So I go in and maybe it is, maybe that's why I'm, I'm lost, you know, it's cause I don't know what any role means. You know what I mean? So it does help when someone does explain it a little bit too. You know, when someone's like, Hey, you know, this guy's up to bat, you know, if he rolls a, a, a 11, the game's over. If he rolls a 15, you get, you know, it's a base hit or, you know, it, it, that really does help a guy like me who knows nothing about it. When people say this or whatever, you know, the computer games, you know, you can, it you, you can't see the role usually, um. but, but even the you know there's a reason why I give the defensive ratings for my defenders in baseball because you can see what a ten does as opposed to a two, right? Or in your game engine of choice, you can t watch a baseball game today and no, Strat one is a great defender, five is absolutely terrible, and so you can watch someone mess up a play and go, oh, he's going to be a five. No, oh, he's that's so bad. He's going to be a five next year. Or whatever. I mean, it just kind of goes along, and it's its own special language. Yep. Yeah. It's uh, you know, it's hard to to follow sometimes, but sometimes if you know what you're doing, you know, like I say, if I watch somebody now stream game winning drive, I know exactly what's going on. Exactly. And I'm kind of hoping I'll get to that point at some point with some of these other games. But yeah, no, I appreciate everybody along the way that did their thing. I still want to. I still play my computer games. Uh, I'm gonna, you know, but um. It is it is nice to nice just to sit here and just like I say put put something on in the background to listen to and roll the dice and play your game like I say just just in your in your own world and you're not doing anybody any harm you know so and you're not you know you're not making wrong decisions at who's coming to the plate you know <clears throat> things like that which a lot of people do from what I hear so yes apparently so <laughs> but you know the the community's been great you know, obviously our community, you know, yeah. Uh, but you know, some of the other ones, like I, I'm slowly learning how to use the Delphi forums. I've, I never heard of them never until recently. And I went in there and it's like, I'm still, I, I don't know if I'm doing it right. 
<laughs> so, you know, I've done a lot of foreign, but that's, I just don't know how that one's set up. So I'm learning that one a little bit, but the people there have been great too. They really, they really have. I mean, I still get a lot of emails from people from, you know, that, that respond to my stuff or, you know, the, like the, like the stuff I did or they ask me, Hey, how'd you do this? Or, you know, that was neat. Can you, can you tell me what you did here and how you set this up or where did you get this? And it's fun giving, you know, giving back to them and they're enjoying, you know, what I'm doing. And it, it, the, the, the interaction has been really good. There's been very, very few curmudgeons. Yes. You know, yeah. there's, there's, there's going to be some and you deal with it. You know, I think the, one of the worst things anybody said was, boy, great show, great game, but there's no stats, so it's not for me. And I was it, like, well. it's, you know, you could get super involved. I mean, that's why Stratomatic makes three levels of each of their games. You could you could just run it out and not care, or you could sit there and go, okay, my outfielder has a plus a minus five arm. And Ricky Henderson has 19 speed, and my catcher can do this. And different strokes for different folks. But yeah, and I think that was fantastic because I saw that that hockey off is a, a it was a a basic, advanced, and something and else. Super advanced. Okay, good. Yeah. So I think that's fantastic there to, to get involved with something like that. So these games here are great. So that yeah, that was the one guy's like. Yeah, blah blah blah. There's no stats and there's no strategy, you know. And I said, you're exactly right. It's kind of a solitaire game, quick play game that you play through. But yes, it's not very deep. But I says it, it is super fun. If this it's is what you're looking for, fun and there's tension and all the things that, you know. Yeah, sometimes we'll go there and say, why didn't you pull the pitcher or why are you running this play or whatever. And sometimes you just want to watch a damn game. Yeah, yeah. And and going back to the game winning drive, that's the great thing about it. There's very few decisions. I mean, you, at the end, you, I mean, you can do a, a fourth down play. If you can refuse the field, basically you refuse the field goal and you go for it on fourth down. That's kind of how it works. You can also do the onside kick, you know, so there are a couple of things. So if you wanted to make a team win at the end, you could say, well, I'm not going to onside kick. I'm just going to end the game. So, I mean, if you wanted to, but you know, why would you? Right. But yeah. It, there's not a lot of, decision making in a game like that which is not what i'm there for i'm this i'm there to see it play out i'm there i'm third person okay i'm sitting behind bob Euchre, who's sitting you know in front of al red sox fan okay that's where i am i'm way up there okay and that's what i enjoy about that and even the, the shootout i really don't have a lot of decisions in that the dice dictate what what happens and i just watch it and that's kind of fun for me yeah, and I, and I suppose there's games that do you do get more involved. Some of the games you do choose to penetrate or shoot in the whole bit if you want to. So when to change your lines, when you pull your goalie, yep. you know what do you, what play do you want to run? When do you pinch hit? When do you it, yes? And some of them get quite involved. But some, as you said, sometimes you just want to crack open a beer and watch a game. Yep, and that's what that's what this game did and shootout hockey and a few others. So yeah, so uh, uh but I will keep everybody, you know updated on the situation and uh bobby just jumped in the chat so um, wave hi to bobby hi bobby. hi bobby um and uh so, so i'll keep everybody up to date as i find some new games as there's, there's a ton of them out there i'll see you about this this football solitaire pro i want to talk to this this gentleman here about that um i'm interested to see what's going to happen with shootout hockey the the, the community has really been growing a little bit with that recently so that's kind of fun and uh, a lot of these other downy games there's probably a whole bunch of games that i that i again that you have to email somebody and they just have it sitting on their computer, you know, mm -hmm. and it might be kind of fun. And I, and I'm, I found a couple of old games on eBay that I picked up that one I showed you today. Um, there was actually two of them on there and I don't think either one were complete. So I, I got them both and I'm hoping when I get together, I'll have a complete man. I have one complete game. <laughs> you, know, you know, but I'm finding all these, these 10 and $15 games that are really, really fun to play and, and have some fun with. Um, I got that Laurie Boschman game, the the hockey you game. You showed there. me that, yeah. Yeah, I, I got to go and figure out how to play that. But I, that was just a dice game and a couple of cards. And I think that was actually like a gas station game that you got at a gas station or something like that. That, that I don't know why I think that, but. Well, that you're, you're, there's the coupons for the Slurpees are long gone, okay? Yeah, it's all right. I, I had a salad tonight at the ice cream stand. So just, Bull pucky you had a salad at the ice cream place today <laughs> along with it was shaped like ice cream it tasted like ice cream but i swore it was a salad and you swore it was a, it was it was, was there a banana involved <laughs> no no <laughs> no no i just got the i said let's go up the street for coffee and a donut she goes let's go get ice cream so ice cream one so that's yeah. fine 
But anyway, so uh, yeah, thanks everybody that jumped in. Oh, the uh, the OG just jumped in. Uh, OG, yeah, I just basically we just did a quick uh, review of game winning drive. So you might want to go back and watch the beginning of that of this video, and then we just talked about the project in general and projects in general too, and the whole bit, and uh, just kind of hanging out here on a Sunday night. Uh, but I gotta go let Ron finish watching some golf. I might go watch that too. Um, and I'm going to go and search the web again and, and find some more fun games to play and figure out my next project. I think uh, I got to do something with the shootout hockey. I think I'm going to go pick off a couple of games, see what seasons I got, go find some key games or a key series and, and bang on a couple of that. Cause that is really fun. And then I'll, I'll, uh, I'll either pick up another season with the game winning drive and do another playoffs, or maybe I'll go find a, another, a simple game like that and, and play it out and see how it goes. And so you got what right now? You got your baseball project, you got your football project, and what else is going on? Uh, that's pretty – th that 70s tournament starts its final next Sunday. And I think we got um, another couple of Patreon things in, in the works. But as far as what we got coming up, with the, we're down the last three weeks of the regular season for baseball. Uh, AFL will return next Friday night at 7 for Kansas – not Kansas City – it's uh, Los Angeles and Houston. The two teams actually played in the finals that first year. And so that's, per and, you know, some one-offs along the way. But that's pretty much what I got going on. Yeah, cool. So you're busy time there. And uh, I just want to say hi to uh, the 10th end. Uh, loves the cream school shirt. Yep, favorite team. In fact, if, just take a look at some of the videos I did. If you haven't, I just did a 1979 uh, football playoff uh project playthrough where i went and played the entire playoffs and it's very very different from what happened in real life so check that out if you like the creamsicles you will like most of the playoffs i will say uh and uh yeah bobby and dale just saying goodbye to everybody so um yeah so let's just wrap this up here and um unless you want to sing no <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> i do way too much of that on my own thing no okay so we'll wrap that up here. So anyway, yeah, so that was a quick uh, a quick look, a longer look at uh, Game Winning Drive by Downey Games and a recap of my 1979-80 football playoffs. So I played the Wildcats all the way up through the final championship game. I even had a halftime show, so check it out on some of the, the videos I did here on my channel. And everybody that jumped in the chat, thanks so much. And everybody that's, that's inspired me, to uh to do more videos here whether it's chat with you and, and alan everybody else or mm -hmm. just my own projects or um you know whatever uh appreciate it appreciate the feedback i really do try to put out a a really nice broadcast whether i do uh the computer games or the cards and dice the cards and dice are much more tricky boy i tell you that it's tricky to set up to get that but um hopefully you like some of those videos in the presentation so just uh yeah thanks to the, the words of encouragement to everybody and everybody to come in the chat tonight and hung out with us thank you so much any final words no, no, it was a great project, a lot of fun, and I'm glad you did it. And okay. we're going to do Wednesday afternoon, we're actually going to replay the game using Action PC, right? Oh, yeah, we forgot to say that. Yeah, kind of a, um, a piggyback onto this project. We decided that we'll go on Action PC probably Wednesday afternoon, I think it's going to be. Oh, so, yeah. Uh, at some point, so uh, to stay tuned for that time. It's going to be on Ron's channel, so you need to go to subscribe to Retro Sports Network if you're not already. So go to Retro Sports Network, all one word here on YouTube. Subscribe to that channel, and then Wednesday afternoon, I think Ron's doing play-by-play. -play. I think I'll be on color again, and we're going to play uh, that 79 Miami versus Tampa Bay uh, finals that that I had, and we'll see what the results are. I imagine it'll be pretty close to the same, but you know, you and never. Tam know. Tampa actually played better than I thought they would. And yeah, so they're very curious to see what happens in the because Miami just had some off years, and that was one of them. And so I'm very curious. Yeah, Tampa played over their head that year. They snuck into the playoffs. They got that one win at home against Philly, and then they they lost to the Rams nine nothing. That was really a close game. But in right. my playthrough, they they. They played well right up until the final game when it was just uh, turnover city and punt city. You know, they just couldn't score against Miami in that, that finals there. But, again, you can go back and watch the replay there. But, yeah, I forgot that. So, yeah, tune in Wednesday afternoon. I think we're going to try to do it live if yeah. we can and uh, on Ron's channel. And we're going to kind of replay that, and we'll see if the results are any any different. So, any anyway, again, 
Thanks so much, Dave Little. Thanks so much for tuning in. The tenth end. Uh, oh, it's tenth end likes to shoot out hockey. Yes, I'll be doing some more shootout mm-hmm. hockey. Um, that is so much fun. I gotta, I'm gonna do some short term and some long term products with that. Uh, and I imagine next fall when we get in the hockey season, I'll be hitting that really hard. And I'm trying to. And I think Ron, I told you, I'm trying to get involved with a a larger group project. I think you'd enjoy that a co op. Yeah. Yeah. Th- so what's happening is over on um, the Delphi forums uh, that I'm just signed up with people are actually getting together groups of five and 10 people and they're playing an entire season in its entirety. And again, it's not a one man project. So you get, you know, all these different people and everybody takes a team and they just start playing these games out. Play your home. And games, they, I think it's what I saw. Yeah. And then they, so I, I would play, let's just say I took the Bruins, I guess as long as I didn't overlap against somebody else's team, I guess you probably figure out, you know, who gets that game. But so I, I would play out, you know, for a, a game and send them the stats and then another game and send them the stats and everybody else would. So next thing you know, you, you start, you know, f- getting all the stats from the season and you start knocking out, you know, the seasons, you know, the season games and schedule. So that, that, that is a large, large product that could be really fun to be a part of because there would be no pressure to do, you know, all these games, you just, you know, pick, pick a team, maybe two teams and pick off a game here, a game there. I think he's, I think he only said he wanted like, four games a month or something like that. And that really That's very good. Yeah. Yeah. And now it's a long, obviously that that route, you know, if you're playing 80 games, well, you need to do more than four a month, I guess, if you wanted to complete the project at a certain time, maybe it was four a week. I think it was four a week, which is still not bad. You know, not bad for that game. It's about 90 minutes. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, the idea being, you know, I, I would help pitch in and do a few games or whatever like that. I think it was four a week. Yeah. Cause four a month would be, you know, if you did 80, every 20 months, you know, it'd be a long, long project. Yeah. So, but anyway, so, all right, so we're going to really sign up, sign up this time. Uh, Doug Williams is his favorite. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Uh, I, I was too. I grew up with them a little bit. So, all right. So anyway, thank you so much. Hopefully you, you liked the video. Give us the thumbs up. Go uh, check out Ron's channel as well as some of the people in the chat. We have some great, great people in our community right now and I'm, and I'm meeting more. So, all right, Ron, thank you so much. Go watch some golf and I'll be in touch. All right. Thanks. Bye-bye.